Kia ora, it's Grant here and today I'm going to be sharing with you some more of the intimate details about the 30 day Te Reo Māori bootcamp course. I've been getting lots of questions, lots of varied questions, so I'm hoping that I can cover off a whole bunch of those questions in this one video. I'm going to go through what the structure of the course looks like, how to actually get signed up to it and what you know a typical week will look like when you are doing this course. So let's jump into it. But first please, if you haven't already, make sure you hit the subscribe button down below so you can stay up to date with all of the latest content that's coming out. So a typical question is, bro, how do I do this course? What is it like? And that's a really fair question. You know, when we think about doing a face-to-face -face course, it's, it's really easy to visualize. Hey, I've got a venue that I've got to get to. Uh, I've got some books and some paperwork that I need to take along. I get there, I get to the venue, I sit down, I'm with my, my peers and my classmates. I've got a kayako up the front. Uh, I've got my notes, my books and all the rest of it. That's really straightforward. I can see what I have to do there. Just rock up, do the mahi, can't play. How do I do an online course though? That's, that's a tricky question to answer sometimes because uh, there are lots of different courses out there and they run a multitude of different ways. So in this video, I just wanna go through how we run the 30 day Te Reo Māori Bootcamp course because it is very, very unique. So first off, how do I actually get started? Well, when you sign up through the registration page, there's a single page there, has all the details about the course. You can click down the bottom, submit your details, hit go and you are ready. You are 100% signed up. It's like a two-step process, very, very simple. You'll get a welcome email that will come straight to your inbox immediately. And that welcome email will have a whole list of instructions that you then need to follow. There's a section there with a bunch of pre-start videos. So very similar to this one, I go through and I show you some of the, or discuss some of the details about how to get started with things like software and you know, how to get signed up and how to do live videos and all those sorts of things. So really important that you take the opportunity to check out those videos. In the email, there's also a list of pre-start activities. There's some items that we need to print out. There's some files that we need to download. We need to get set up with Facebook Messenger, with Facebook, the app on your phone, and as well as the Zoom software. And within the pre-start videos, I cover off all those items. So it's it's really simple, and I get to I, I can guide you through that whole process if you you are having any worries about it. You'll also get a link to join the private Facebook group through which we deliver the course. Uh, you'll get you jump across to there and. Once I accept you into that group, you are 100% ready to go and ready to get started. So our daily structure, we get to day one and you might be thinking, okay, so how does this actually work? Well, within the Facebook group, you've got this great little feature that I can uh, break down lessons and courses and uh, group different sections of information and, and post together. So we do that, all our posts live in individual sections that are you know, aligned to every single day that we work through. We've generally got three key posts or three key elements that we work through each day. There's our lessons, our homework, and our activities. Lessons, homework, activities. Now, the lessons are usually pretty short, pretty sweet, very, very effective. Don't think because they're short that they're not effective. Um, our lessons, you know, they might sort of take you 10 minutes to go through. The homework might take you about 15 minutes to go through. The homework is always linked back to the lesson. So we've got this continu continu continuity, blah, 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 continuity, my apologies, continuity of what we're studying and our activities. They're a little bit more in depth. Our activities cover off watching, listening, reading, writing, and speaking. Uh, now, the activities will generally take the longest to complete. The focus of the course is, is, is not necessarily to be have, introducing all of this new mahi that you've got to complete every single day. The activities are actually set up so they give you an opportunity to perhaps replace some of the activities that you're already doing throughout your day. If you're a reader, there's some reading activities that maybe you can replace your favorite book with some reading in Te Reo Māori. The listening activities, 
maybe you're a podcast listener on the way to work every day, well, you're going to have the opportunity to work with some Tareo Māori content as opposed to you know, some other content that you may be using. Our watching activities, you may be someone that likes to sit down in front of the TV and watch a bit of Netflix in the evening, well, you've now got the opportunity to switch that up with some Tareo based content. And what we do there is we, we start to build this uh, this immersion environment for ourselves, which is really, really important and really, really effective. So they're the three things you'll have every day. Your lessons, your homework, and your activities. Now these get posted up early in the morning every single day. So you will have, you know, if you're an early riser, you will have the opportunity to do them first thing in the morning. If you've got to go to work, maybe you want to complete them during the evening, but really, the, the main thing is that you can get to them every single day, whether it's in the morning or in the evening, and get them done within that sort of 24-hour block, ready to move on to the next set of lessons. Now, our lessons and our homework, they generally build up on one another. So we don't bounce around and learn colors for a few days and then learn days of the week and then learn nouns and then learn animals. A lot of the lessons always build up. So it's not like you're having to learn new content every single day. Generally, there is always something that's pulled from another lesson into the new lesson. So you're constantly building and you're constantly reinforcing what you've already been learning, which is really powerful and really beneficial for you as a learner. Within the first week, we get sorted into our accountability groups. So within the course, there'll be a, you know, a whole bunch of students in there that you'll be working with and we'll work to get into groups of three generally. Sometimes they bump up to maybe four and five, but those accountability groups, they're the people that you'll be working with because a lot of the homework is actually focused on your accountability group. So you're not sort of sitting there in isolation at home doing the mahi. You've then got the opportunity to go and speak to someone else and work within the confines of, of your small little ropu there uh, to implement the homework and really start practicing what you've been learning, which is really effective. Uh, Sundays, we generally have a rest day because working on new content and new lessons and new homework and activities every single day, sometimes, you know, maybe get a little bit ambitious at the start of the course saying, yep, bang, I'm gonna get all of this mahi done every single day. But inevitably, things come up in life and the Sunday break gives you an opportunity to catch up on the things that you may have missed out on during the week. Thursday nights, we generally have a catch up, like a, 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 that's when we have a weekly Zoom call. We have sort of a, a mini wānanga, so we talk about what we've learnt over the past week or you know, from the previous Friday up to that Thursday. Have an in-depth look at the lessons, go over some of the questions that people have had and questions that people have raised. Uh, and yeah, really a good opportunity to ask any questions and, and sort of knowledge share with everyone that's doing the course, not just the accountability group. So uh, they're really good. And then we also within those calls, we, we, do a, we look forward to what we're doing over the next week. So it's a really good opportunity to reflect, ask some questions and then plan forward for the next week. And that's really the structure that we work through for the whole course. So I hope that's answered some of the questions that you might have had sitting at home, maybe thinking about the doing the course, considering doing the course. If you are keen to do the course, whether you're watching now in September 2020 or sometime in the future, please stay up to date with when the new courses will be coming up generally running them uh, every quarter at this time. So every sort of three months I'm running the courses. So if you want to get on board, please stay up to date. You can join my email list, jump in the private Facebook, the pro private Facebook group. Uh, I share all the information there as well. And look, I'd, I'd love to see you in there. I've had hundreds of students go through this course with some really good success. I have a lot of fun delivering it. And yeah, I'd love to meet you and help you on that journey. So. Kia ora.